Hey guys, today I am bringing you my wrap up for the month of October. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the books that I read in the month of October. I found that doing wrap ups at the end of each month just makes it feel like time is going by way too fast because I feel like I say in every video, I can't believe this month is over and I'm doing this wrap up right now and I cannot believe that the month of October is over. Where is time going? I have no idea. But without further ado, let's talk about the books that I read in the month of October. The first book that I read this month was actually a comic book and that is witches. In this book we follow a girl by the name of Sailor and her family and basically her and her family are running from this evil force that tends to follow them wherever they go. Sailor is pledged to the witches and once you're pledged to the witches you can't go back. You must join them. So that's basically what this comic book is about. Obviously there's so much more to it but I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I went into this comic book expecting to be terrified throughout the whole thing but it really wasn't as horrifying as I expected it to be and what I wanted it to be. It was still really enjoyable but I just wanted that horror factor to terrify me and that just didn't work out. I didn't like the art style that much. There was this weird like texture overlay over all the images and I just found it a little bit distracting and I just didn't really understand that detail of the art and why it was necessary. I felt like the art was good enough that it didn't need that overlay on top of it. One of the things that I did love about this comic book were the characters. Each of them were so great and they were each facing their own battles. We've got Sailor who is facing being bullied at school. We've got Sailor's father who is struggling with an alcohol addiction and then we've got her mother who has just recently been put into a wheelchair after an accident. So they're each facing these different things, and I really liked the character dynamic between all of the main characters. And I did also really enjoy the plot of the story. It's very mysterious and creepy. I would say it's more mysterious and creepy than horrifying. I was never scared throughout this comic book, but I do feel like it has the potential to be terrifying. So I am definitely going to be picking up volume two and carrying on with this series, but I just wasn't massively impressed with this first trade. The next book that I read was Night Film by Marisha Pessel, and this book follows a reporter by the name of Scott who has had a pretty rough career. He's just really struggled with his career and the person responsible for that is this filmmaker. It's released one day that this filmmaker's daughter has committed suicide but Scott just doesn't quite believe that so he decides to dig deeper into this case and reveals different things regarding his daughter's suicide and different things come up. It's very mysterious and creepy and I freaking love this book so much. There were two things that I didn't necessarily love about this book. The first thing is I feel like this book could have been condensed a little bit. I don't think the length of it was that necessary. It just didn't feel like it needed to be as long as it was. There was things that I felt like could have been taken out of this book to make it a little bit shorter and it might have helped the story move at a quicker pace. And the other thing that I didn't necessarily love about this book was the ending. It felt very anticlimactic and I just wanted a little bit more from it. Other than that though, I freaking love this book. It was so fantastic. The thing that I specifically loved the most about it were all the images and graphics throughout the story. There's like newspaper clippings. There's a freaking app that goes along with this book. And when there's this little emblem that pops up you can scan it in the app and you just get more details and it's just so cool. It was such an interactive book and I love books that are interactive like this one. It was fantastic. I would highly recommend picking this book up. It is a very long book. It's a hefty sucker but I read it in four days because I was just so completely hooked on the story. I was fascinated by it so definitely give it a go if it sounds like something that you're interested in. The next book that I read was Nightfall by Jake Halpern and Peter Kajawinski. I probably just butchered that but Nightfall is about this island and on this island there are 14 years of day and then there are 14 years of night and when the 14 years of night come everybody flees the island obviously because who wants to live on an island for 14 years without day just complete nightfall who wants that not me I don't want that I ain't about that life so everybody is prepping to leave this island and then a boy goes missing and so there's this massive hunt to find this boy and figure out what happened to him where he's gone so that they can leave the island I really enjoyed this book on an entertainment level but that that's as far as it goes. It didn't necessarily blow me away in any way, but I still really enjoyed it. I found it really interesting that this is kind of a thriller story that takes place in a fantasy world. That part of the story really fascinated me. I loved the overall setting of it. It was very dark and unique, but there were at times where I felt like the story didn't know what it was trying to do, didn't know what it was trying to be. Did it want to be a fantasy novel or did it want to be a thriller? I think it wanted to be both, but I think at times it struggled to be both. I also just wasn't a massive fan of the characters. I found each of them to be rather dry. I wish that the characters would have been explored a little bit more and wish they would have been given like more of a personality because they were just 
pretty dry characters. So for the most part, I enjoyed this book and it definitely was creepy and that's something that I really wanted out of this book because I wanted to read it for that creep factor and there was definitely a creep factor in there. So overall, enjoyed it, just didn't blow me away. Then I read Ruin and Rising, the final book in the Grisha trilogy. I finally have completed the Grisha trilogy. I'm really proud of myself because I've been wanting to complete this trilogy and I finally did it. Ha oh, yeah, dance party, dance party. Anyways, I kind of felt a little bit meh about this ending. Just certain things that happened just kind of made me feel meh. Like that's just how I felt. I just felt meh. And that's kind of generally how I feel about this trilogy. Like the trilogy didn't necessarily impress me. I think I kind of went into this trilogy with really high expectations and those needed to be lowered. There is a lot of hype surrounding this trilogy. And so I went into this with really high expectations and I was a little bit underwhelmed. I did enjoy this trilogy, but I just didn't love it. I do have full book reviews on each of the books within this trilogy, which I will leave links for down below. So if you guys want to know more of my thoughts on this trilogy, go check those out. So after finishing this trilogy, I moved on to Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, which I can honestly say I found it to be so much better than the Grisha trilogy. Just everything about it, I just, I loved it so much. If you guys don't know what this book is about, we follow a heist that takes place within the Grisha universe, which is the same universe from the Grisha trilogy. And it was just awesome. The characters are amazing. The writing was fantastic. You can definitely tell a growth in Lee's writing with every book she puts out. And I love that about her. I love that you can definitely see growth in her writing style. The plot was fantastic, and that's something that I didn't like about the Grisha trilogy. I felt like there was a major lack of plot in the Grisha trilogy, but there is freaking plot in this book and I loved it so much. I would highly recommend picking up Six of Crows. I will leave a link down below to my full book review and book talk because I went into more details and thoughts about my feelings towards this book, so definitely go check that out if you guys want to know more about it. But I would just say I would highly recommend picking up this book because it's fantastic. And the final book that I picked up this month was Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell and oh my gosh, why has it taken me so long to read this book? I am planning to do a full book review on this book because I loved it so much and I just want to share more of my thoughts and I just want to go into more detail about how much I love this book because I loved it so much. It was just so good. Basically, if you guys don't know what this book is about, we follow this girl by the name of Cap who is going to college with her twin sister and they're really close up into the moment of going to college and her sister just kind of wants to go and do her own thing. So Cap is left trying to figure out everything on her own and she's really shy, not very outgoing and so she really struggles with kind of getting into the college scene and making friends. And so we just follow her adventure at college and it's just fantastic. Rainbow Rowell has such a quirky writing style that I love. She's a fantastic storyteller and her characters are just so unique and interesting and I just, I love them so much. I love them. It was so great. So those are the books that I read in the month of October. You guys should let me know down below what books you read in the month of October. Also let me know down below if you've read any of the books that I showcased within this video and what you thought of them. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you soon with a new video. Later. Ah, break it down now. Break it, break it down. Witches, <coughs> and once you're pledged to the witch... It's Night Film by Marissa Peschel. Peschel, Marissa Peschel, I can never say it correctly. Which is the same world from the Grisha trilogy. And that's the back of the book.